Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's JJ and today in this lovely video I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some super cool makeup looks and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your own and or make your own uh, like lipstick and eyeliner and uh, foundation I guess if you have the right color. So all you need to do to make this is take some colored pencils and put it in a cup of water. Preferably hot or warm water, but my water's now cold. So, yeah. Basically, that's how you do it. And Or you can just use regular lipstick, but... Where is it? Right here. My red lipstick. Yeah, I'll show you. If I, it's literally broken. I did not just break it, by the way. It's literally broken. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of pooped on that one. And this is it's not cheap. This was like... $20, I think, for this tiny lipstick. But it's my favorite color. I think it's red carpet red. My favorite color in the world. But that is beside the point. So first thing, makeup look I'm going to show you guys how to do is a rainbow lip. So this is really hard. I figured out because if you don't do it in front of the mirror, which you have to do, that you don't section off your lip with your lips well enough. So I'm just going to move the camera. Um, because basically, otherwise, you only get to do like two three to four colors so here's how you do it oh my god sorry i just recorded another video and saw some uh eyeliner under my eye okay so basically all you're going to do is take your first color which is going to be my red and i'm using the colored pencil and just section off where it's going to be on your lips so this is how much it's actually kind of much but whatever and color it in Now you're going to do the top. Okay, so... Okay, so next thing you're going to do is take your next color, which is going to be orange. So I recommend using very pigmented colors, like don't use a light orange because it's not going to show up, especially with orange. So I'm going to use this really bright, vibrant orange. So. Now with this one, you have to section off where the red ends. And where you want your orange to start. So now I'm going to do my yellow. Hello, now I'm going to do green. And I'm, I, this is not very pigmented because I'm using very light colors, but this green is going to show up. Green, now I'm going to do blue. Okay, let's see if we, I don't know, here. Is this? No, that's violet. Okay, forget it. Now we're going to use, hope those crayons didn't break. One of them didn't break. So I'm going to use this one, teal. Blue, and I'm going to do some purple. So, that is how to get this super cool rainbow look. And it's a rainbow lip look. And I'll also give you some color pencils and me. And I am warning you, like, this is not professional lipstick. Um, and if you do use color pencils, Make sure you use non-toxic, um, because you are putting this on your face. Yeah, that'd be bad. So, <laughs> next thing I'm going to show you guys how to do is to basically fill in your eyebrows with colored pencils. Ooh, ooh, but I like it. So, first thing you're going to do, you're going to need some eyeshadow, um, I'm not going to lie, or an eyebrow crayon. So, first thing you're going to do is take a base and just do a white base and that is just the only eyeshadow you're going to need i'm using a nice silver base or we're forgetting the eyeshadow go away eyeshadow we're going to use color pencil so i'm going to use my white color pencil and i'm just going to do the base of my brows just filling them in lightly making my brows look gray <laughs> kind of embarrassing and now i'm just going to 
do that. And it's looking a little weird. I look kind of like an old person on the top and a young guy, young person on the bottom. And by the way, do you guys like my hair? I think I'm going to straighten it from now on. Anyway, instead of curling it, instead of leaving it curly, I don't curl my hair. Anyway, so now I'm going to take the dark color that I'm using. And because it just gives it a better base, makes it more vibrant. So I'm just going to put it over. And this color is way darker than my brow color. So, yeah, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to take a brush. I'm just going to take this one right here. And blend those two colors together. This looks really bad right now. So now I'm going to do a little more brown or gray, whatever color you want to call it, on this side. And I also have to fill in the beginning of my brows on this side. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, so question of the week. Have you ever had your brows waxed? Or, yeah, no. Or have you or have you not? Comment in the comments down below. And by the way, guys, I know I have to approve your comments. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I don't have to do that anymore. And also, I'm really sorry if I have not been able to approve, ap 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 approve your comments because um, my computer's been down. So that's where I check all my YouTube comments and I do everything, so... But I should have a new computer by tomorrow because I, I ordered one from Amazon or my mom did. So um, then I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and wipe off all the excess. And I have to use like a whole makeup wipe. Okay, that's a little crazy. So these are my brows looking on fleek. On fleek. Next, for your next lip, if you want to do a darker and lighter pink, like an ombre. Ombre. Here's what you're going to do. It's going to be going this way, not going down. I, I don't know. I don't like that. So first you're going to take your light, so basically I'm just going to take a really light pink right here and do it on my lip towards the edge. I hope you guys can see. It's kind of hard to see. Next I'm going to do, actually I'm going to do my whole lip with this pink color. Let's go like this. And basically, I'm just going to be adding um, a bit of this magenta throughout the way. So this is a dark pink, like a really dark magenta. So, so I just lightly dab, dab. That was really bad, dab, dab. And on, I'm going to take this uh, brush. Holy crap! That took me a long time to figure. Long what now? And I'm just going to streak it, and as you can see, it gives it like an ombre effect. So I'm going to try something real good. I'm going to try to dye my hair with colored pencils. I'm not permanently, definitely. So <laughs> I'm just going to color my hair, but my hair is already bleached at the end, so it might work. It's still kind of blue, though. Like, can you see that? Like, if I just put my hair down, you can see it's like blue ombre at the ends. It's kind of cool, like, I gotta admit. So I'm going to do it on this side. There's nothing left on this side. So my hair... There's blue on that side. Of course there is. Okay, this is like a super light piece of hair. So I'm just going to, yeah, you know, just color on it. Uh, sorry. So I saw this video on YouTube. This girl, she literally dyed her hair with markers. It wasn't markers. It was like the inside, but it was so cool. But she was so blonde. I was like, and Nicole Skies did it too. She looked like awesome i was like oh, i wish i could do that i hate being blonde uh, but, but I, uh, I wish i hate being brown but i saw this thing somewhere something that made you like look blonde like natalie's outlet said oh my god i'm being blonde uh making me look blonde i want that i want to be blonde like i like my like here down i want to be blonde no or like here down oh my god that'd be my dream okay so anyway i'm gonna do uh, dark blue. Or, I'll say red. I've done blue. Blue is like literally. Blue is just in my hair. Blue, you need a break from my hair. So, let me just. <gasps> this works. It's not going to stay in. But, holy shabang a bang. That worked. This can't be good for your hair, but. Actually, it's probably. It's probably harmless. I mean, it's it's just colored pencil. It's not going to do anything. This is definitely going to wash out, but. Y'all, sorry I'm leaning down, or am I getting a very close 
Yo! Y'all better believe this. It worked. Look. My hair's kind of stuck in that position, but it worked. Oh, and it's actually six in my hair. Well, like, I can rub my finger down. I can run my fingers through it, and it doesn't, it does not come off. It's going to come off when I shower tomorrow, but <laughs> for now, it's not coming off. So, which is, like, so cool. So, I dyed my, like, I'm a brunette all the way, y'all. My whole family's basically not blonde. Actually, it's not true. My mom is blonde, but either way, the rest of my family's very dark hair. This is so cool, but my hair's bleached, so I feel like it's kind of, like, this would work for some people, but literally, oh. So I'm gonna call this video now, Awesome Things You Can Do With Color Pencils. <laughs> awesome Things You Can Do With Color Pencils, featuring JJ. But like, oh my god, oh my god, it is so cool. I think I'm gonna do this tomorrow for school. But this is so cool. Actually, it does kind of come off on your fingers. I lied. I lied. I... So it does come off on your hands uh, a, a tiny bit. Why was I so quiet? I'm so quiet today. But, oh my god. Like, look. Look, that word. Like... That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a whole piece of hair, like just, like, I'm gonna try to do right here. Try to make it like, you know how hair is so awesome. Oh, uh, sorry about that. It's my yokes, yokes. I'm gonna try to brush my hair. I have so many tangles. And look, it literally stays in as I brush it. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Okay, so hopefully that worked. Brush my ends out. Okay, we're all good. We's are good here. So now I'm just gonna take, oh, by the way, I also saw some of these hacks on Sarah Beauty, Beauty Corner and Natalie's Outlet, if you guys wanna check them out too. Okay, so I have my hair, my strip of hair I went to color. So I'm gonna zip my color pencil, leave it in there. Actually, I'm gonna try, um, Let's try pink magenta. Fancy. Okay, so let's. This doesn't show up very well. It's too too dope, too, too light, too light. Okay. Why did I do that? The white shows up. Oh no, that doesn't look. It looks chalky in my hair. Like it just barely shows up. Red it is. Oh, that's pink. It's still pink. How many pinks do I have? So let's just color my strip. I feel like it worked better when I just laid it down on the table and literally colored it till it was red. <laughs> but this is so cool. Like, I feel like it works so much better with markers if I did this to my hair, but I like my hair and it's I don't want it to look like I colored on with markers. Like I'm seven. When I was little, like before I started dyeing my hair, I was like, oh my god, I want to dye my hair. And of course. I like, when I was little, remember when you were little? Oh my god, that doesn't work. Why did it work over there? Because that was the piece of probably bleach lighter. But remember when you were little and you would always want to get your hair dyed and be so cool? And your mom would get you those like spray hair things? <laughs> you thought you were like Lady Gaga? I know. Girl, I have been there, but now that I actually dyed my hair, I'm like, oh, what was I missing out on? So, I'm going to get rid of this eyebrow stuff. This it's so dark so yeah so those are some super cool things you can do with uh oh oh crayons color pencils whatever this would work i think with crayons like lipstick oh my god that'd be so cool anyway guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and enter my diy and contest but in this video i'm not gonna put the directions because i think i put the directions like every video so <laughs> yeah no more directions so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye